Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Mama, joined by DeJuice. We have the first bout this morning of the 2011 Western Regional Playoffs. All hail excitement, DeJuice. How are you feeling this morning? Pretty swell. We got the Tucson Saddle Tramps taking on the Angel City Hollywood Scarlets. It is going to be a great matchup here. The 9 and the 10 seeds finally meet in here on day three. And a great start to the conclusion of the 2011 Western Region playoffs. Right, right, right. We are. And here's the thing. If you're watching Derby this early in the morning, you're a huge fan, number one. Number two, you're either a fan of the Tucson Saddle Tramps and or the Angel City Derby Dolls, Hollywood Scarlets. Or you're in another country and it's later for you. Maybe you're in the UK. Maybe you're in Australia. Maybe you're in Germany. Good morning, Guten Tag, all of that stuff here to Juice. On the jam line right now for Tucson, that is number five, Lindsay Loblo, up against number 617, Ghetto Fabuless for Angel City. And starting off here with their aces, I've had the pleasure of seeing both these teams play already in this tournament, and uh, definitely worth waking up for. This is going to be a solid matchup. Absolutely. We are playing for the uh, ninth and tenth spots here in this tournament. Tucson coming in as the ninth seed. Angel City coming in uh, right at the end there as a tenth seed. Quickly through on the inside. Ghetto Fabulous lead jammer Hollywood Scarlets. And Ghetto Fabulous able to storm the swarm right off the bat. Grab that lead jammer. A little slow off the line. And now they're in full swing around the ring. Lindsay Lobo quickly through, uh, had to beat a wall of three, and Ghetto Fabulous calls the jam, picks up a textbook, four points for Angel City. Yeah, great start there for Angel City. Going to try and keep it going with Chica Go Lightning, number 16 in the red. That is a semi-automatic, number 22 for Tucson. Once again, like you said, uh, ACDG in the red, Tucson in the black. If you're joining us, good morning to you from amazing Portland, Oregon. And both these teams uh, bring a lot of energy to the track. No quit in either of them. Uh, they took on some um, some dirt beasts here in the West, and they got thoroughly trounced, but had some fun, learned something, and had some bright spots in those games as well. Now they got a fairly even matchup, at least on paper. We're going to see how this plays out. To be the best, you got to try and beat the best, and you got to play the best, Juice. So again, Angel City and Tucson have both come against some uh, titans of the West. Quickly through lead jammer, Angel City. And Angel City, two in a row, getting scrumptious around the circumference here to start off day three. Semi automatic, the one to be. It looks like we're going to get an out of play penalty here on Silent Disaster. Uh, Semi automatic is out of the pack. And Angel City able to pick it apart, gets her four, says no more. They're up 8 0. Two in the box for Angel City. I'd like to thank some of our sponsors here. Dr. Hauschka, celebrating the fresh faces of the WFTDA. If you've been uh, watching the Bowcast, you've seen some of the fresh faces of Dr. Hauschka. If you're here in the area, please stop by their booth and get your fresh face from Dr. Hauschka. And so here they are on the power play, four on two in the pack for Tucson. Good chance here to maybe even it up. Blanked on the scoreboard, 8-4, Angel City. That is uh, number 11, Bianca Troll for Tucson in black, and number 95, Tyra Shanks for the Hollywood Scarlets in red. And Angel City jammer going down, uh, and it's going to be Tucson through. Bianca Troll lead, Gemma. Good work by Tucson there, jamming up Tyra Shanks, but she is through and eligible to score. Tucson with a 4-2 pack advantage, wanting to put some points on the board right here. Angel City racing to the front. And solid wall there, forces it to the outside. Uncontested pass for four points. Nice work by Bianca Troll. Once again, we are not able to bring this tournament to you without the help of our amazing tournament partners in the Big Five, and especially the 2011 Western Region Playoffs, Green Monster Roller Sports, Terminal Gravity Pale Ale, and Blood and Thunder Magazine. Those tournament partners help us get through our day. Thank you very much. Okay, Angel City going to put Ghetto Fabulous back on the line, going with their 1-2 jammer punch. Her and Tyra Shanks have uh, had a marvelous outing here at the West Region Playoffs. That's Sammy Automatic jamming for Tucson, and she's through, but not lead. A lead went to Ghetto Fabulous, who is about 15 feet behind Sammy Automatic right now. 
Yeah, good photo finish there through the pack. Both jammers hustling and smart call off, of course, by Angel City to retain it at a stalemate jam. Every day they're hustling, and every day Adam Wheels is bringing you the official wheel of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. Again, if you're here in the area, check out their booth, Adam Wheels, or visit them online at adamwheels.com. Once again, the official wheel of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. Or check out Adam Matrix playing later tonight against Rocky Mountain. Absolutely, and you can check that out too. Uh, hopefully you get the HD feed. Uh, in the pack right now, jamming for Tucson, that's number five, Lindsey Loblo, up against number 16, Chico Gold Lightning for Angel City. Through for lead jammer, Lindsey Lobo, number five for Tucson. Number 101, I'm a blow by you with an excellent effort there at the front of the pack. Staved her off as long as she could. Went out to 20 feet, let her go. Lindsey Loblo on her scoring pass. Angel Ooh. City still stuck in the pack. Oh, looks like we have a major back block call on Lindsay Lobo. This will be a power jam for Angel City, and we will go the full two minutes as there is no lead jammer on the track. Okay, so Angel City up by a quattro here early. Going to try and uh, capitalize on this power jam. Tucson with a thick pack up front. They got their full four and full containment at the head of the pack. Nice wall there by Tucson, but she skates away. She could go lightning fast out for five points for Angel City. A good patience there. Waited for her uh, last two blockers to pull the pack back, give her that free ride through. Uh, there was nothing doing against that tough Tucson front line. And now we have a wall of black up front. Two skaters from Angel City in the back of the pack. And again, trying to do the same thing this time. It looks like Tucson a little bit more savvy on this pass. They're going to keep the pack close and keeping a body on Fabulous. And Miss Defiant rejoins the action. And they have, looks like Shady Sadie trapped in the back. And she is through the jammer for Angel City. Another five points for the Hollywood Scarlets. And that would be Chica Go Lightning. My mistake, number 16 there in the red, racking up a big jam here early in the first. And jukes it to the outside, gets a block from Brawl Stanley, but cannot stay on her skates. Oh, looks like we have a major forearm call on Sunny Side Up for Tucson. Okay, hey, I uh, got to thank Spenlin. Outside the lines, they're bringing you a new kind of T-shirt available. They got a booth here, Spenlin Media. Check them out. All right, jamming now for Tucson, number 77, Judo Nomi. Cannot see the number there for the Angel City Derby girl skater. She's hiding it well from the announcers. Let's see if she can be... Uh, oh, that is Tyra Shanks there for the Hollywood Scarlets. Three on three pack there and out is Judo Nomi, lead jammer Tucson. The Judo Nomi, uh, unused as a jammer that I've seen thus far. Maybe a couple, but uh, mostly they've been utilizing her in the pack. Let's see what she can do here with the hat. And right at the end there, oh, sorry, just a moment ago, Duchess Van Dam sent to the box for Angel City. Tucson puts up three points, and Angel City also puts up three points. Good jam by both of the teams there. If you're here in the area, make sure you look for Roller Girl Skates. Look in your program, there is a skater named Trigger. Look for her in the crowd to sign up for a free set of wheels from rollergirlskates.com. Roller Girl Skates, one of our great sponsors. Jamming for two sounds, number 11, Bianca Troll. Uh, looks like Tyra Shanks was sent to the box there at the end. I did not see the call of juice. Yeah, uh, power jam for Bianca Troll. She plummets through the pack. She is the lead, cruising around the dog leg with full speed. And let's see if Angel City's last two blockers can corral her. Tucson now playing some offense. That was Mina in possession with a great takeout. The freer jammer. Looks like we have four points for Bianca Troll. Pass, no penalty assessed, so she did not pick up that fifth point. Angel City going to get in an extra blocker. That's 3D Watson back on the pack. 
We've got a back block. Major, not sure who the call is on. Oh, it is on Tucson's jammer. Beyond control. Going to flip-flop with Angel City's jammer in the box over there. I believe that is Tyra Shanks coming out of the Husqvarna. Looks like Bianca Troll almost spent the entire minute as Tyra Shanks came out of the box just as Bianca Troll entered. We'll finish the jam here. Just under 50 seconds left in this jam, Juice. And making a fierce run at the front. Tucson scrambling to hold that line. Angel City slapping on the trap at the back. And that's going to be a split pack. Good work by Angel City. It's like they uh, had Cosmonati in the GOAT. So she is stuck back there. They've defined the pack in the rear. Tyra Shanks through, hops to the apex a little bit. Full five points, Angel City. And using that well-placed trampoline there on the second turn. Good work. Oh, a good box out by number 10, Cosmonati on the Tucson squad. Forces the full reset on Angel City. Okay, we've got Sunny side up heading to the box for Tucson. It will be a 3-3 pack. And Bianca Troll is standing up. She will rejoin her bench. And so we'll send a new fresh jammer out for Tucson. Pixie accent on the action there, battling as well for Tucson in the pack on that one. I'd like to thank Rydell Skates. Rydell Skates, they are a proud partner and the official skate of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. A lot of skaters out here rocking Rydell Skates. They are good skates. They've been around for years. So again, support our sponsor, Rydell Skates. Sammy Automatic tries the inside line. Held there by number 166, Shiv, captain of Angel City. And now they got her trapped on that trio in the back. Somehow materializes through it. And Angel City, yes, she's going to be lead jammer. That's Ghetto Fabulous doing a great job avoiding Helen Wills. Helen Wills with a little backward skating to intimidate. But Ghetto Fabulous having none of that skates through. Lead jammer semi-automatic stifled by a wall of red up front. And she had the swim upstream like the Chinook Salmon, which, of <laughs> course, is the official state fish of uh, Oregon. I, I would As not know that. Know. I will totally believe you, Juice, on that one. <laughs> All right. Coming through, sizzling now. Angel City on a roll. She's going to pick up a grand slam and doubling the board on Tucson. 40 to 20 is Angel City. Semi-automatic is through. Get a fabulous calls. The jam picks up three points there. Rock holds up the power three. Nice work by Angel City on that last jam. Want to thank Pro Dent, Protect Dent Mouth Guards, the first thoroughly scientific mouth guard for the Derby player. They've got a booth here. They've got their gear sold by all the major Derby suppliers. So check out at some point Protect Dent Mouth Guards. At the plate, we got double three Pixie Axe for Tucson and Chica Go Lightning 16 for the Red Angel City. Chica Go Lightning like a bolt. She's out. Lead jammer Angel City. Pixie Axe still stuck in the pack. Cosmonati has to rejoin at the rear. It is a 3-3 pack with amazing red wall up front, just like in China. And, uh, just an ex extraordinary switch there for Angel City. They had the back of the pack to start off to give their jammer 20 feet, and then they transition to the front to help their jammer get into the pack quicker. Angel City is showing some great teamwork here. If you are watching this feed, hopefully you're watching it in HD. It's one day left of roller derby action here. Pony up the dough. Support uh, WFTDA.com. Check out the amazing feed being done here by Blaze Media. Absolutely. Bringing it to you live all over the world. And uh, here they go into the scrum. That is uh, Black Star Heroin number 60 for Angel City uh, up against number five, Lindsay Loblo for Tucson. Once again, Tucson in black, Angel City Derby Girls in red. And the refs really letting them play physical. I like it. Lindsay Loblo able to muscle her way through. She's going to be lead jammer, quarter lap lead. Bean Have almost pushed uh, Black Star Heroin into the apex, but she lifted up her skate wisely, did not cut, and is out eligible to score as well. Lindsay Lobo calls the jam. No points for either team there. And that was number 78, Brawl Stanley for uh, Angel City. I, uh, she's been doing some good things all weekend. Another save 
to help her team uh, stave off some points there from Tucson. Okay, we're seeing uh, more of this kneeling in front of the jam line, the Pabs Blue Ribbon jam line strategy here as we line up Ghetto Fabulez up against Bianca Troll for Tucson. Ghetto Fabulez with an easy gap around the outside. Caught him sleeping on the pajama jam. She's going to be the lead jammer. And Bianca Troll still stuck in the molasses. Silent Disaster doing a great job of pushing her to the outside. Now Ghetto Fabulous in the back of the pack trying to put some points on the board. And how about that jammer defense from Bianca Troll? Is going to force uh, Angel City to the back. And that's what you do when you're the jammer and you're stuck in the pack. Play some defense. All right, Bianca Troll now out eligible to score. Just as Ghetto Fabulous makes it through the pack with a full five points and calls the jam. Angel City finding their groove here in the first half with 15 minutes. Juice, you notice the surface they're skating on. This is skate court. If you want to be part of the elite leagues, you need to learn how to skate on this surface. Take your league to the next level with skate court roller derby flat tracks. All right, Angel City on the knee, taking that back wall to start the jam that's worked for him thus far here in the first half. That's Tyra Shanks jamming for Angel City up against number 22, Sammy Automatic for Tucson. Tyra Shanks, wall of black up front, wall of red in the back for Sammy Automatic. And a great jammer takedown. Did not see who that was for Tucson. Sammy Automatic up front, almost a 20. It is close. Finally lets her go. Lead jammer, Tucson. That was a bit of a split pack situation there. And uh, out of play penalty assessed to That is number 166, Shiv, for Angel City. And also Pinky McLovin being sent to the box for Tucson. All right, now Sammy Automatic on the rampage. She picks up a grand slam, looking for more, creeping up on the snack pack. We've got a 3-2 pack advantage now for Tucson. Sammy threw, calls it with four more points for Tucson. Tucson inching their way up, Juice. And a jazzy jam for the Saddle Tramps. Uh, Angel City is going to call a timeout after that run. And we will take that opportunity to thank Elemental Technologies, the world's most powerful video processing solution, one of our proud sponsors here at the West Region Playoffs. Also, Jules Doyle, Axel Adams, you may know him as, has a new book coming out. Check out It's No Mercy. It's a derby photo book. He's here all weekend taking awesome pictures. I see him out there right now with his uh, multicolored dew. I've seen that book. It's pretty cool. It is an amazing book. If you are here, maybe you're just listening to this feed because you're groggy and haven't had your coffee yet, go find Jules. Go buy his book at the WFTDA booth on the concourse and have him sign it. He's, a, he's, gonna, he's already a legend in the derby world. He looks to be a legend in the photography world soon. Yeah, take a uh, time here to thank a few of our other people, Fast Girl Skates, Merch Mama, and Five Stride, also some tournament partners. All right, that's the timeout. And we've got Chica Go Lightning, number 16 for Angel City, up against number five for Tucson, Lindsay Loblo. Tucson now taking the knee in front of the Paps Blue Ribbon jam line. And the wise decision, they got the extra blocker. They're going to turn the tables here on Angel City and grab the back before the whistle. Speaking of whistles, we are underway. Looks like just Breakfast and Watson out there for Angel City. Oh man, Angel City getting it done shorthanded. Sequesters the jammer just long enough. But wait, it flip-flops again. She could go lightning to the box. We are on a power jam, uh, Tucson. And we have a very light pack out there for Angel City. Chico Lightning sent to the box for a major back block. Full five points for Lindsay Lobos. Hinko de Rinko Tucson. Oh, man. It's a uh, pack just about to float away here. Nobody out there breakfast with that thankless task. All by herself. Finally, Brawl Stanley out on the track to help her out to no avail. It's going to be another five for the Saddle Tramps. Did you see that? Lindsay Lobo took a slide. She was definitely safe at turn four. Did not want to cause a back block, which it appears she just may have done. Nope, no call there. 
by the refs. Yeah, there was a lot of contact there. I thought we might have jinxed her. I was like, oh, that looks like a back block from here. They did not call it. So, uh, again, they're letting them play. I love it. Another grand slam for low blow. And uh, what's this? Tucson only down 8, 44 to 52. We got a game. We do have a game. And again, Lindsay Loblo is showing us why she's the future of the Saddle Tramps. She is a junior derby player turned all-star. Uh, I think just 18 or 19 doing a great job here against a veteran ACDG squad. You got to like it when they uh, work their way up through the ranks. Finally get an opportunity here on the big stage. And just like that, adds another five, or actually four. There is, uh, and it's a four-point difference. I was right the first time. It was five, <laughs> three-point difference. You should just trust Angel your City. Juice. That's what I thought. Once again, Angel City in the red with the gold trim. Tucson in the black with the yellow trim. Jamming now for Tucson. That's number 77, Judo Nomi, up against number 617 for Angel City. Ghetto Fabulous. Ghetto Fabulous on the outside through. Lead Jammer right away, Angel City. Angel City just hyper-warping by the herd. They're going to try and answer back after that gem of a jam by Tucson. That was a pleasure to watch. Now Angel City's defense a pleasure to watch as they wall up a front and have one roving blocker in the rear. That was 3-7-3 Bia and Have with the takedown. Great work. So Helen Wheels with a little bit of difficulty getting up. She's skating back. Helen Wheels, a veteran, crafty veteran of the Tucson Saddle Champs been with them since the beginning. Yeah, I love to see her out there. One of the legends of roller derby. Still getting it done with her saddle tramps. Cosmonauti now rejoins the fray. 4-3 pack advantage for Angel City. Get a fabulous with one blocker to beat up front. That is Cosmonauti. Oh, it is uh, Duchess Von Dam getting in there. Another uh, bright spot on the roster for Angel City has had a bunch of huge hits in this tournament. But and gets uh, called on the penalty there. That's right, her fourth minor. She'll be in the box. So again, three on three pack. The Duchess Van Dam and Bean Have in the box for Tucson and well, Angel City and Tucson respectively. Angel City uh, with some goat herd in there gives their jammer the cheap skate through the pack for the Grand Slam. Judo Nomi blocked, blanked on this jam. Angel City really racking up the points here. They have shut down uh, that amazing jam that Lindsay Loblo basically all but erased that jam that Lindsay Loblo had in the last jam. Judo Nomi now with one to beat up front. Shit with a great block to the inside. Now skating backwards to recycle her. Yeah, a lot of credit here to Silent Disaster and uh, Shiv really on her like a noose this whole jam. Wow, another five points for the Angel City Derby girls. Hollywood Scarlet showing us how it's done in Southern California. Time out now. Tucson trying to staunch the bleeding a bit from that last jam, Juice. Yeah, good uh, good time to thank Vanilla Skates. Let Vanilla Derby take you to success with our leather renegade and straight jacket boots. Also got to thank Wicked Skatewear. They are here at the tourney. Uh, they got B-Train and Strychnine represented for Wicked. Also, we got Fat Tire. Follow your folly and try a Fat Tire Amber Ale today. Got to love Fat Tire, being a Colorado yeah. person. I used to live in Fort Collins. Every time someone would come to visit, we'd go by the brewery. Fat Tire now expanding their operation, becoming a uh, worldwide dominating force. New Belgian brewery. If you're ever in the Fort Collins area, go, go try and check them out. My buddy was just doing the tour to Fat with them. It was a crazy festival they do with uh, bicycles and everything. Good times. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching day three of the 2011 Western Region Playoffs uh, hosted here by the Rose City Rollers in Portland, Oregon. Once again, we have the Big Five tournament season. Easterns has already happened. This is Westerns. We'll have North Central and South Central coming up. And Champs 2011 WFTDA Championship is being hosted by the Denver Roller Dolls in Denver, Colorado. You will get a chance to see all of these on the feed on WFTDA.com. And that is something we should all thank our lucky stars for. And speaking of stars, Lindsay Loblo, Tyra Shanks rocking the hats at the jammer line. That is the Paps Blue Ribbon jammer start line. It is a 3-2 pack advantage for the Hollywood Scarlets as two of the blockers from each team are now standing and waiting to rejoin the fray. That's Duchess Van Dam and Bean Have. Through for lead jammer. 
going to be Tyra Shanks off to the races. Dun, 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 dun. She is going to kind of mosey around here, looking to pick her spot, coming up on a fast pack. And there, Angel City puts on the brakes for her. And Lindsay Lobo threw quickly uh, on the inside with some nice speed, gets out of the pack. Tyra Shanks threw for four, calls the jam, 4-0 jam for the Angel City Derby girls. All right, Angel City hustling out to that line. They want to take a knee. They want the back. Beyond control, rocking the hat with Ghetto Fabulous. All right. If you are the MVP of the Big Five of the WFTA tournaments, Union Vacations is going to be providing that person with a one-week getaway to Mexico. It will be amazing. And that is going to be a hotly contested spot. Uh, there's a lot of skaters that can contend for that. Okay, get a fabulous through lead jammer, but Bianca Troll hot on her heels. Pack slowing down. 3-2 pack advantage for Angel City. Oh, and uh, Tucson was at the back of the pack. Ghetto Fabulous didn't want to risk it, but had an opportunity to perhaps hit it and quit it. Looks like they'll put Lindsay Loblo back on the jam, past the Ruben jam line for Tucson. She just went in the second to last jam up against Chica Go Lightning for Angel City. Thanks to our tournament partners, Derby Supply and Sock Dreams. Also want to mention Flat Track Revolution. Helping us out, putting on this shindig. Uh, got a cut in the pack. Was it a double cut major or was that her fourth minor? I'm not sure, but Tucson on the power jam. Tucson needs this. Uh, Angel City with 81, Tucson with 49. Uh, the last skater to put on a big power jam for Tucson was Lindsay Lobo. Maybe we'll have a repeat of that amazing jam. Tucson doing a great job breaking up that front wall. Lindsay with a little bit of room to maneuver. Angel City trying to bridge, but too far out. Grand slam. Breakfast was not able to bridge. Hopefully my breakfast will be able to bridge me to, to lunch. Already feeling hungry. Lindsay Lobo with five points. Oh, and, and, did we say she got a grand slam past breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. She's been eating her Wheaties, and she is trying to turn on the throttle here for another one. I'm a blow by you. The last line of defense, valiant effort, but able to squeeze on through. And that's going to be four for the legal pass out of bounds. I'm a blow by you, saving a point for Angel City. I'm enjoying the way that Angel City has speed control. They've managed to hold that jammer to within 10 feet, within nine feet of the pack, doing a great job there. I Lindsay like Lobo with one to beat now. Lindsay Lobo has some uh, magnificent maneuverability. Really cut it back against the grain. Just when it looked like they had her tied up, she's through again for another high five. Oh, man, looks like Brawl Stanley and Breakfast both sent to the box. I think they were out of play majors. 4-2 pack for two favoring Tucson. And they are making light work of it now, walling up in the back. Helen Wheels bopping the front of the pack for her jammer. Gives her three more points, but Angel City able to get a triplet of their own there. Chica Go Lightning snuck through on the inside line, not seen by the Tucson blockers there. If you get a chance, go to derbyskins.com. Derbyskins.com, they love making your hiney shiny. I'm sure you've seen on the broadcast some folks wearing these outfits. Derbyskins.com. All right, Sammy Automatic, deuce, deuce at the plate for Tucson. Picking on Ghetto Fabulous, the ace from Angel City. So when this happens, Juice, I always have a hard time telling myself the jam actually started, so I have to look at the jam clock. We're yeah. a minute 38 in. The second whistle has not blown. And this has been the slowest start we've seen uh, to this uh, about thus far. And it's going to work for Tucson. They're going to get lead jammer. Patient move by uh, Sammy Automatic around the, the, with a lead jammer. Get a fabulous also out about 20 feet behind, eligible to score. Cut major now on Duchess Van Dam. Sammy Automatic passes one blocker, picks up all the ghost points in the box. Full 4 0 jam for Tucson. Tucson inching their way back up to Juice. Yeah, they're only down 14, four minutes to go here and change and uh, 
good chance for Tucson on the power play with only one blocker out there for Angel City. Okay, that's Tyra Shanks out there for Angel City, number 95, up against number 11 for Tucson, beyond control. I think the story of the tournament and, you know, typical derby bouts is if you have a lot of penalties, you just cannot win. We saw that Denver versus Rat bout. Denver almost over, I think over 100 minors, that bout 50 minutes spent in the box. You cannot win a bout that way, Juice. Definitely. Penalties, a big story uh, in this day and age of derby. And... Um, Making making a lot of points happen here in this bout as well. Both teams able to capitalize when they're on the power jam. And I think the 14-point difference may be the shorthanded defense from Angel City is just slightly more effective at this point. Oh, great work in the back by Mystery Me pushing Tyra Shanks all over the place. Beyond control out now. Lead jammer for Tucson. I really like how I'm a blow by you. Plays the front of the pack. Stays with the jammer as far as she can go. And now she's going to get sent to the clink. It's Tucson through for a grand slam. They are within 10. I like what Sunnyside Up did here right at turn four. Knocked the jammer out, then raised her hands as if to say, hey, ref, I'm the one that knocked the jammer out. She's got to come back in behind me. Oh, my goodness. Right now, we've got four miners on Bianca Troll. Minor back block called. Power Jam, Angel City. We will go the full two minutes. Oh, man. Everybody in the box for Tucson. Their last blocker just got pounded by Duchess Van Dam. No one there. Invisible pack for Tyra Shanks to blow on by. Invisible pack to go with their invisible plane as the <laughs> Scarlets look like Wonder Woman out there with their great uniforms. Amazing push by Pixie Axe, but we do have a penalty on Pixie Axe for a back block. Oh, that's Tyra Shanks on the back block. Oh my goodness. I'm going to stick with that uh, metaphor, and they caught her with the invisible Larry up there. <laughs> Maybe they'll tell the truth. <laughs> Roll the Derby is awesome. That is the truth. Through for five points is Bianca Troll. No lasso needed for me to, to, to spit that <laughs> kernel of, uh, of honesty. And that was just a killer right there for, uh, for Angel City. They looked like they had that jam in control, uh, kind of an unforced error on that back block. And now Tucson with an easy five. They're within 10, 89 Angel City, 80 Tucson. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you are joining us, the 2011 Western Region Playoffs. First bout of the day here on the last day of competition. In the red, Angel City's Hollywood Scarlets up against, in the black, the Tucson Saddle Tramps. Number 22 for Tucson out there by her lonesome, semi-automatic. And uh, Derby Dominoes, everybody goes down, but it was Silent Disaster uh, holding her back momentarily, semi-automatic. Going to finally get by on the no-pack lead jammer. It's a skate riot sent to the box then. And now Tyra Shanks back in the mix. Pinky Malevin trying to put a hurt on her, but she's quickly through. Out and eligible to score for Angel City. Sammy Automatic now with a wall of red up front. And uh, Tucson's jammer going to get her five and take five. And that'll do it for the jam. Uh, Tucson closes the gap to four. With 44 seconds left on the clock, got to thank Dr. Hauschka, the WFTDA's official bruise healer, lose the bruise with Dr. Hauschka's ouch aid. Picky McLovin for Tucson sent to the box there for a major pack destruction at the end. Um, Pixie Axe standing up in the box for Tucson right now out there. Only one blocker for Tucson. That's sunny side up as Lindsay Loblo is jamming for Tucson. And get a fabulous jamming for Angel City. She's out. Lead jammer, Hollywood Scarlets. And the Scarlets, they're going to try and answer here. Who's going to win this race at the end of the first half? Yes, Angel City picking up the four to go into the locker room. 93, Angel City, 85, Tucson. This is a bodacious bout we got going on. Tucson making a run here. We've got halftime, ladies and gentlemen. Please join us for the second half. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just joining us or rejoining us, we are just about to start the second period of the number 10 seed Angel City Derby Girls Hollywood Scarlets against the number 9 seed, the Tucson Saddle Tramps. We are standing at a score of Angel City 93, Tucson 85. Dejuice. What do you think so far of this bout? 
Pretty much what I expected, very even. Both teams employing great strategy and executing it well. Um, doing everything right, calling off the jams right, all the basics. Uh, they got it. They got it going on, and uh, it's basically just kind of been a microcosm of what we've seen in this tournament as a whole. Most of the points coming on the big power jams. Both teams really capitalizing on it. And uh, Angel City started off big, but Tucson hung in there, uh, kept together, and made a big run at the end of the half. It's an eight-point game. Yeah, it's been really, really fun to watch to see all these uh, strategies develop. Uh, a lot of the um, front of the Pass Blue Ribbon Jam line starts for both teams. Uh, some great jamming by skaters from both teams, especially enjoying uh, the talent of a uh, young skater, Lindsay Lobla, number five for Tucson. She's been really capitalizing on all her power jams, and uh, Tucson's been opening up some big walls for her. Yeah, definitely uh, one of the highlights on the Tucson roster. And they are set on the wheel, ready to get this second half underway. And you know, I've told you before, I'll tell you again, we could not do it without sponsors such as Dr. Hauschka. And uh, he has a booth here. Check out their amazing bruise healing and skincare products. Also, once again, I'd like to point out that Tucson is in the black with the yellow trim. Angel City in the red with the gold trim. We oh. are off the juice. Oh, Lindsay Loblo getting through. A little bit of frustration there by Watson. Elbows are down. By the way, Dr. Hashka is not a man. It's not a he. It's a company. <laughs> I always make that mistake. Here she comes up on the light pack. Lindsay Loblo going to get some and get done. But Angel City through on the inside. Picks up four points to Tucson's two. And it looks like Lindsay Loblo did pick up a uh, skating out of bounds minor there indicated by Mr. Rock. Mr. Rock is a person though, right? Indeed he is. Uh, and uh, proven it there with an emphatic call. Thanks to all our refs and volunteer crew here. Waking up early along with uh, Joe Mama and the Juice, bringing it to you live on the WFTDA Streamcast. Yes, sir. Jamming for Angel City. That is number 60, Black Star Heroin. Up against number 22 for Tucson, Semi Automatic. Semi Automatic quickly through Lead Jammer, Saddle Tramps. And that's just some scandalous skating right there. Zipping around the arc with uh, like nobody's business, having no problem at all. Duchess Von Dam looking to change that, putting a hip on her. It forces the call off along with Skate Riot. Oh no, look at that. Hollywood Scarlet's pick up one point there. No points for Tucson. Great jam by Black Star Heroin. Um, saw some great leadership in the pack by Tucson. Number 77, Julianomi, pulling the, pulling the pack back. You see a lot of on the track coaching and captaining by some of the veterans here. Yeah, and you see uh, both these teams have a pretty good coach. They've been very emphatic. Letting their jammers know what's what on the sidelines. They don't have to second guess themselves at all. Jamming for Angel City, it's Chicago Lightning up against for Tucson, number 11, Bianca Troll. Very, very tight pack around turns one and two. We have a 4 3 pack advantage for Tucson. Angel City holding the front well, but split pack, Bianca Troll lead, Gemma. And an out of play major called on number 93 for Angel City. That is Skate Riot. Bianca Troll now at the back of the pack, ready to put some points on the board as she can go lightning, gets out, is eligible to score for Angel City. And that is going to be four for uh, Bianca Troll. Tucson just hanging around, still within six. These teams just trading shots back and forth. Tyra Shanks to the plate. Sammy Automatic in toad. We have a 3-3 pack out there. Everyone taking a knee, lining up in front of the Paps Blue Ribbon start line. And a little bit of an interesting configuration there. Tucson taking a kind of a sandwich on the pack, and it does not work. Angel City going to run away with that lead jammer. Quickly around the track is Tyra Shanks. Now Sammy Automatic just about a quarter lap behind. Tucson walling up in the rear. Uh, and no Gemma, no Gemma, no Gemma. Lead Gemma, <laughs> yes. She's going to call that off for Tucson lobbying for one, but they don't get it. That was my favorite game show growing up. <laughs> Press your luck. It's a, that's just classic. No whammies. Classic American uh, 
<laughs> mornings here. All right, so Lindsay Lobo on the line for Tucson, number five, up against number 617 for Angel City, uh, Ghetto Fabulous. And no whammies you will get if you check out Iron Doll Clothing, one of a kind of uniforms for the modern roller girl and referee. And I'm going to put that on the list for awkward segs. <laughs> into the entry into the awkward seg contest. Lee Jammer is Angel City. It's a photo finish. Fabulez is going to tap it out right away. 0-0 zero, zero jam. You saw the strategy there. Fabulez tried to slow the jammer down and bring her back into the pack. Unable to do so, so she went ahead and called the jam. Fabulez is going to go take a spot back on the jammer line for Angel City up against number 22 for Tucson, semi-automatic. Yes, indeed. I like this matchup. Sammy Automatic just kind of looking for that breakaway jam. Let's see if she can uh, do what Lindsay Lobel has had some success doing. It's a 3-3 pack out there on the inside. Ghetto Fabulez lead jammer. Once again, Tucson jammer not very far behind. And uh, looking to be perhaps another 0-0 jam, except Tucson has a couple blockers in the back. And Sammy Automatic exhorting them to get to the front. Lots of frustration on that pass. Yeah, and she picked up her fourth minor for skating out of bounds. I think she might have thought that Ghetto Fabulous was going to call the jam and start skating and avoiding hits. Uh, that was not the case and picked up her fourth minor. Power jam, Angel City. Yeah, good call there. Uh, Ghetto Fabulous with the heads up play. I think that is exactly what happened. And she's going to walk away there with a power jam for her efforts. Big hole opened up by Angel City on the inside. Tucson quickly clogging it up. But Ghetto Fabulous just with one to beat, and she's through five points, Angel City. And the pack stopped going in reverse. This is mayhem for Tucson. Great save there by number 77, Judo Nomi. Judo Nomi's skate actually went out of bounds, but Ghetto Fabulous did not see that and went back just in case. Hey, if you're a smart blocker, you knock someone out and take your foot out of bounds. No reason for you not to skate backwards and let that jammer think that she yeah. did not step out of bounds. No don't reason. Don't tell her you stepped out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ghetto Fabulous on the war path. Another grand slam. Angel City opening it up here in the second half. Uh, oh, it is crunch time. Sends her down. Helen Wheels. Helen Wheels, a classic, classic hit. Yeah, Helen Wheels has given a lot of girls that are welcome to Derby a moment. <laughs> exactly. Uh, now semi-automatic through. She picks up four points right there for Tucson. Four more points there for Angel City. Great jam by Ghetto Fabulez as Angel City opens up the throttle, taking their score to 131 and Tucson with 96. All right, a thick crowd on the jammer line. Hey, I've been drinking a lot of this this weekend to keep myself awake, especially on early mornings like this. Rockstar, they are energizing. They're energizing brawl, fans, skaters, and volunteers. Rockstar. Uh, absolutely. This Bridgetown brawl has been uh, quite successful, quite crazy. And here she comes. Getting uh, Luna ticking us around the track. I don't know if that's a word, but she is lead jammer. It's a word for me. That's Tyra Tyra Shanks for Angel City. She's out and scoring. Bianca Troll hitting the back of the pack. Tyra Shanks, again, with the big call off. She's got long arms. I believe you can see her call the jam from space. Two more points for Angel City, bringing their score to 133. Tucson with 96. And that was Dirty Duchess with the body slam to end that jam. Once again, Tucson in the black with the yellow trim. Angel City in their superhero costumes in the red with the gold trim. Time out, Angel City. And it looks like Dirty Duchess got sent to the box on that hit. They got her in custody, but she's got the right to remain violent. <laughs> um, helping us today uh, with skate tech and skate repair, um, Sin City Skates. Sin City Skates, they are the big five skate techs. They will fix your gear and chat about new stuff with you. You can check them out online, SinCitySkates.com. They're also here in the building right at turn three. Check them out, Sin City Skates. All 
All right, yeah, that uh, official timeout is to review the score. So we're going to pause here to make sure they get it right. Conferring with both coaches. Now the stripes meeting in the center. Once again, uh, the WFTDA would like to thank their Big Five tournament partners, especially the tournament partners here at the Western Region Playoffs. Durbalife, Rebel Jewelry, Sock Dreams, and Portland Pedicabs. Um, without these partners, without Durbalife, Rebel Jewelry, Sock Dreams, and Portland Pedicabs, we could not have this tournament. So mega thanks to those tournament partners here at the 2011 Western Region Playoffs. And it looks like uh, Angel City's Jam Ref is going to award them uh, one more point. So that will bring it to 134 Angel City, 96 Tucson. And there we have our whistle. They're going to fill each other out. <laughs> no start here. What's happening? All right, so it's Black Star Heroin jamming for Angel City. Sammy Automatic jamming for Tucson. No pack call. Black Star Heroin through on the inside. Lead jammer, Angel City. Semi-automatic still stuck in the back of the pack. Blocks are here and quickly threw around again on the outside. Virtually untouched. Grand slam for Angel City. Semi-automatic hitting that wall of red at the rear of the pack. And picked up a splendid whip there from Silent D. I'm going to say D instead of disaster so I don't sound drunk here on the mic. <laughs> You have a lish <laughs> through for four points. There is Black Star Heroin. She calls the jam. Nice work by Angel City. That knee start at the Paps Ribbon Jam Line seems to be working for them, Juice. Yeah, that is a good offensive trio there. Skate Riot, Von Dam, and uh, Silent Disaster. I'd like to thank OHSU. Try to say that eight times fast. The <laughs> official sports medicine providers of the Bridgetown Brawl. Once again, OHSU providing sports medicine here in Portland at the Bridgetown Brawl. All right, coming, uh, taking the helm is Pixie Axe, number 33 in the black for Tucson. Go to Fabulous, 617 in the red for Angel City. Once again, 10 seconds has elapsed on this jam. If you need a clue as to when the jam has started with, with no one skating in the top left of your screen, the jam clock is there. Uh, through for Lee Jammer, Ghetto Fabulous, Angel City Derby Girls, but also out now, Pixie Axe for Tucson. Angel City using that sliding door to let their jammer through. Close the barn on Tucson. She's got a full lap lead, and she's going to call it with her full four. Good jam there by Angel City. They are content to be putting up four points here as they have a comfortable lead over Tucson. Angel City 147, Tucson 96. Pulling away a little bit here now in the second half, Juice. Definitely, but no lead really comfortable. It's Lindsay Lobolo coming to the plate. She uh, has had a couple monstrous jams. Let's see if she can answer back here for the Saddle Tramps. It is a 3-2 pack advantage for Tucson. And we do have a false start or illegal procedure return to your branch for uh, I'm a Blobaya as they did have uh, an extra skater on the track. Shady Sadie pummels her out of bounds. That's going to give Tucson lead a jammer. Nice work but uh, I think that penalty may have been worth it as uh, Shady goes to the box for a major forearm. Tyra Shanks out now eligible to score for Angel City. Being Have. And Helen Wheels leading the charge. Oh, easy call there. It's going to be a major back block. Unfortunate timing for Tucson. We are still going. She tried to call the jam. Oh, wait, that this is the jam. Two points for Tucson there. And a chaotic ending to that one. Lots of action at the buzzer of that jam. So she is not going to the box, it looks like, mm -hmm. for Tucson. And Angel City coach uh, lobbying for an explanation there, wondering exactly what the call was. That's Billy Motion, who's Caribbean queen, I'm sure, is <laughs> somewhere here in the Portland area. Oh, I love that name. <laughs> On the line for Angel City, that is number 617, Ghetto Fabulez. And L Lindsay Lobo is in the box for Tucson. 3-2 pack uh, favoring Angel City. All right, Tucson going to try and run a little bit with their last two blockers on the track. They got the front of the pack 
Always a touch and go situation. And Ghetto Fabulous minces on through, scampering around the horseshoe with the lead jammer. Okay, Tucson now walling up in the rear. Nice fake to the ins to the outside and through on the inside on stunning setup from Tucson. Ghetto Fabulous, full five points on that pass, Juice. Yeah, bobbing through the mob, just ducked under on the inside line. What a shake and a shimmy. She is uh, definitely fabulous on this one with a grand slam. Man, she's putting on some amazing, like, Barry wow. Sanders moves right there. What Get a fabulous through another five points. Unreal. What an orchestration here by the ace from Angel City. And just a gorgeous jam. Oh, my. Looks like Lindsay Loblo being sent to the box again for Tucson. Angel City really putting the speed on here and really forcing Lindsay Lobo to take these penalties. Ghetto Fabulous, huge smile, loving it, and uh, putting together the biggest jam, I believe, of this bout. Definitely uh, the most glamorous one. Right, we've got a 4-2 pack advantage for Tucson, but despite all of that, Ghetto Fabulous putting on a juking and jiving clinic for the Tucson Saddle Tramps. Uh, Angel City now establishing the pack in the rear. They have to let her go. Oh, but a major cut on Fabulous. Not a fabulous cut. Will hit the box. Will release Lindsay Loblo. Uh, and that is, uh, she's earned a little rest there in the stockade. What a, what a just huge jumbo jam for her. That was great. And we will see a, uh, Jammerless start here, Juice. Yes, indeed. Both stars behind bars. Oh, uh, there is some confusion. Okay, we have an official timeout. Take yeah. a look at this. Gonna have to wait for an explanation on that one. I got lost in the shuffle. Hey, if you ever stop by in Portland, you got to try a Voodoo Donut. Those things are delicious. They've been hooking us up with them all weekend and uh, got to say thanks to our tournament hosts, Portland, Oregon, Rose City Rollers. You guys have uh, put on an awesome, incredible tournament here for the West Region 2011 playoffs. Teaming up with WFDDA to give us a phenomenal tournament. It's been fantastic. And also, if you get a chance, if you can't get enough of WFTDA, uh, WFTDA.com, um, our host here, Rose City, check out 5 on 5 magazine, the official magazine of the WFTDA, 5on5.com. Um, subscribe to that magazine. A couple of amazing skaters run that magazine, Skater Run, talking about training, talking about health, talking about roller derby, your favorite sport in the universe. Because if you're watching this here at 11.10 Pacific time, you love derby. You love Angel City. You love Tucson. Thank you again for tuning in to us this morning. And how fortuitous I happen to be wearing my 5 on 5 magazine shirt. Got to check it out. That is a great uh, way to keep abreast of some derby happenings. Also like to thank uh, another one of our tournament partners, our big brothers and big sisters, helping us put this thing together. Looks like um, 3D Watson has fouled out for Angel City. She will head to the locker room. And we have a two-minute penalty assessed to Lindsay Loblo. She picked up her fourth minor, and then she got a major for misconduct. So, again, uh, Angel City, I, I don't want to say this too early, but with 16 minutes left, this is a two-minute power jam for Angel City, and they've got a lead, a substantial lead of 82 points over Tucson right now, Juice. It is looking pretty bleak. Again, that was 3D Watson that got uh, ejected. You may know her as Ms. Defiant. I have that on the sheet, not on her jersey, however. So, yes, uh, so Angel City just needs to keep doing what they're doing, run some clock, and, um, yeah, they look like uh, they may have this one in the bag. Uh, it is a 4-2 advantage in the pack for Tucson. However, their jammer is in the box. That's Black Star Heroin out there for Angel City. Uh, Angel City now taking a knee. The penitent shall pass. 4-2 pack <laughs> Tucson. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Tucson clumping together. They're not going to go away lightly. Pinky McLovin 
trying to spring her way out of that goat herd. And Blackstar with some nice patience there, allowing the the pack and the blockers to develop. Yeah. Um, and as the Angel City uh, skaters came into the mix, Bean Have sent to the box for Tucson. Now Tucson walling up to the front, Angel City in the rear. I believe that was Mina in possession with the jammer takeout. Now Tucson has her tied up there. They got the front of the pack right where they want to be. They got to kill this power jam. Good discipline by Tucson. But now it looks like they have someone trapped. Mine in position, uh, goaded in the back. Now Helen Wheels and Pinky McLovin up front. Blackstar Heroin through five points, Angel City. And yeah, that's kind of been the story of the second half is um, great virtuosic jammer performances from Angel City. And they finally uh, put together some uh, really effective traps in the back to help out their jammer even more. And a fourth minor for Blackstar Heroin sent to the box which actually will release Lindsay Lobo despite having to serve two minutes. She will head to the box, uh, head out of the box early. A good turn of events there for the saddle tramps. I think they caught Black Star on skating out of bounds. Good catch, Juice. And now Angel City walling up in the front. Helen Wheels and Pinky McLovin content to slow down in the back. Bean Have rejoining the group here. Yeah, Shiv. With another seal off on the inside line, Pinky McLovin springs her jammer around the ring. A nice move. Grand slam, Tucson. All right, this is what Tucson needs to capitalize on these jammer penalties for Angel City. Lindsay Lobo taking an outside tack and then an inside tack. Three blockers now to be great recycling by Angel City, and that is the jam, but not before Lindsay Lobo picked up the full five points right there. And nice little run for Tucson. They broke the century mark, 108 to 185. Angel City still got some time to work with, just under 14 minutes. One of our great sponsors again, buynewskates.com, spelled just how I said it. Check out buynewskates.com online or on your mobile phone, your smartphone your beeper. I don't know how you want to get to the internet, so you will find a way. But you know who's found a way? Semi-automatic for Tucson. Not Lee Jammer with a minor back block, but she is out and eligible to score. Black Star Heroin out Lee Jammer and immediately calls the jam. And uh, didn't see it. She's shrugging. She thought she was Lee Jammer, but that thing got called off on her and uh, just took the morsel out of her mouth going to have to hand it off to Bianca Troll to try and get some more points on the board for Tucson. It's going to be Ghetto Fabulous looking to have an encore performance after that uh, outlandish jam last time. That was great to watch, but Bianca Troll takes the little bump from Ghetto Fabulous on the inside. Through for lead jammer for Tucson. Ghetto Fabulous now about 50 feet behind her. Yeah, sometimes that happens. You block the girl into just the right place, and uh, she's she has all the room she needs. She's got more room than Portland's Forest Park out there. <laughs> she's going to pick up two thanks to a speedy hustle by Fabulez. Cuts her short. Okay, it looks like Billy Motion and the bench coach are saying, get out of my dreams and get into my infield. What is happening right there? Billy Motion wants to know. Yeah, Angel City filibustering about something in the middle. And they're going to make sure that they these this ref crew gets it right. Official timeout. They're just questioning a uh, no call there. That I believe that was the Angel City bench uh, just checking out what's happening there. And good time to say thanks to Dr. Hauschka, the WFTDA's official bruise healer. Lose the bruise with Dr. Hauschka's Ouch Aid. I'm seeing a lot of these wheels out there. Adam Wheels, the official wheel of the WFTDA. They have a booth here in Portland. You can check them out online. Adam Wheels, amazing wheels run by Adam Matrix. Yeah, she's been phenomenal to watch as always this tournament. All right, we got the whistle. Waiting to get this jam going. And there we go. So clarification on that ref timeout, there was an extra skater on the track and instead of going to her bench, she went to the box as the announcer refs uh, are telling me. Yeah, um, some sneaky slither in there by Ghetto Fabulez, finds the gap on the inside, she's got the lead. 
Yes, indeed. It does it again. Four points for Ghetto Fabulous. Having a completely outstanding outing here in this bout. Again, we are seeing, despite this being the 9th and 10th seeded bout, don't be fooled, ladies and gentlemen. They are having a great time out there. Big smiles from the Angel City Derby girls and big smiles from Tucson. Happy playing roller derby. Happy to be here in Portland. Happy to be invited to the 2011 Western Region Playoffs. Uh, on the line now for Tucson, number 22, semi-automatic, up against number 60, Black Star Heroin for Angel City. And, you know, what's not readily apparent when you see them uh, take on the Monsters of the West is that they've beat a lot of good teams to get here, so they've definitely earned their spot. Good to see them slugging it out here to start off our third day. Absolutely, and a nice wall up front by Tucson holding Black Star Heroin. That's being Haven, Mana in possession for Tucson. Trying to make a move on the inside, but Breakfast says no way to semi-automatic and a great wall of three on semi-automatic up front by Angel City. Oh uh, yeah, the most important blocker of the day out there in front, holding her <laughs> back. And now she's got some help from Brawl Stanley. Oh, lets her go. I don't know if she had a split pack. But oh, that, that is, is, oh, it doesn't matter. So that's going to be a yeah. minor cut on semi-automatic. She'll head to the box. Power jam for Angel City. Not what they need right now. And not what Tucson needs right now. Yeah, Angel City on the PJ here. Black Star Heroin gets absolutely obliterated by Mina in possession. And she's having trouble getting up. Bodies all over the track. That's a wise move there to call it off. A little bit shaken up. Slow to get up after that pop. These are tough ladies. And I'm a Blabaya sent to the box there uh, at the last minute for a clockwise block major. Like to thank Elemental Technologies. They are the world's most powerful video processing solutions, elemental technologies. And Ghetto Fabulous on the power jam again. Been having a field day here in the second half. Shady Sadie closes the inside line, but a little bit of miscommunication between the Tucson front line lets her through for the lead jammer. Okay, looks like we have uh, Duchess Van Dam sent to the box for Angel City. Did not see the call as the pack is virtually stopped at turn one, pushing Ghetto Fabulous wherever they can. Tucson desperately trying to kill this power jam. Yeah, Pinky McLovin with the wily move, tried to step up, take the charge, not enough contact. And so she's gonna get through with the high five. Tucson walling up, looking to try and uh, Contain, no, Ghetto Fabulous, just unstoppable this half. Putting together the orchestration again, and she has just been on fire. Sammy Automatic, uh, untouched through the middle, eligible to score for Tucson, and Ghetto Fabulous sees this, calls the gym, picks up one more point on that last pass. Angel City breaks the, cent the double century mark with a score of 204 to Tucson's 110. Really a uh, wow. all Angel City second yeah. half juice. Ghetto Fabulous, that girl has more jam than Smuckers. <laughs> Marmalade. Tyra Shanks gonna try and uh, follow that performance along with Lindsay Loblo. Speaking of jam in a virtuosity, Lindsay Loblo also having an impressive day with a few uh, huge jams herself. It is a 4-2 pack advantage for Tucson. We have a bit of a wrangle in the back. Just as uh, Tyra Shanks makes it out, Lindsay Loblo slightly in front of her. And Tyra, I think, was a little surprised how quick Lindsay was. I don't think she expected to get overtaken that quickly. And she's forced to call it off at a stalemate. You see the jammers uh, aligning their hands to their hips early to let the refs know Sometimes it's tough for the refs to see the jams being called, especially when they're running through the pack. So jammers are trying to do their best to make that uh, obviously and, and oppressively known to the refs. Hey, I'm calling the jam off. Yeah, nothing more frustrating than that. So you, uh, you got to do your part and help these refs out. It looks like Whitney hit me fears to the line for the first time, getting her first chance to prance. I like it. But, but semi-automatic through for Tucson, lead jammer, 4-3 uh, pack advantage as uh, Silent Disaster sits in the box for Angel City. 
So Angel City going into their jammer rotation and Tucson taking advantage, clumping up on the jammer. Sammy Automatic having her own worries with that front line of Angel City. Oh, and Van Duchess Van Dam pushing Sammy Automatic to the rear, recycling her very effectively. And now Hitney Fears out, eligible to score for Angel City. And that back wall working some more for Angel City. Sammy Automatic just out, gets her four. But uh, had, to, had to use a lot of uh, energy to get it. All right, I'd like to thank Rydell Skates once again. Lots of ladies here are wearing those skates. Refs wear them. Uh, men's Derby folks wear them. Rydell Skates, they are a proud partner and an official skate of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. We have a timeout called by Tucson Juice. What do you think they're going to talk about in their huddle? Uh, you know, they're just going to regroup, try and end this bout strong. 90-point uh, difference pretty much out of reach at five and a half left. But um, no reason to not leave your best efforts, leave it all out there on the track. So they're just going to play it straight, play it like it's tied, and uh, have some fun to end this one. Absolutely. And speaking of fun, speaking of just working out, speaking of just Get, being being out there and, and supporting roller derby, Dashka, Dr. Hauschka, one of our great supporters, the WFTDA's official bruise healer, lose the bruise with Dr. Hauschka's ouch aid. And I'm, I might have to have some fun after this. I might need a vacation from this vacation, and I'll have to call up Union Vacations, proud sponsor of the 2011 WFTDA MVP. And, uh, man, I really have a hard time picking a favorite who's going to be the MVP this year. There's just so many... Uh, amazing skaters to choose from. That, that is a pleasure actually to, to see and, and the competition has gotten so tight over the last few years, Juice, and uh, MVPs are difficult to pick because it's always a team effort, mm -hmm. um, but if you have to do it, you have to do it, and someone will have the, the, the hard task of picking one. On the line for Tucson, number 11, Bianca Troll, up against number 617, Ghetto Fabulez, who's had an amazing bout. Yes, indeed, some artful dodging from Fabulez. Cutting it back and forth. It's a zigzagathon through the front of the pack. She's gone. Lead jammer. Bianca Troll still stuck in the pack and now out. Eligible to score just as Ima Bubaya heads to the box for Angel City and joined by Brawl Stanley as well. Yeah, Ghetto Fabulous has her skates plugged in. There's just no stopping her. Pinky McLovin able to get a body on her to stop to make her call off the pack but can't get that smile off her face she is having a <laughs> great time they are i think the entire angel city bench is uh, is having a great time really enjoying the level of competition here they're facing tucson putting up a great fight um but ghetto fabulous capitalizing on the power jam she's had and the and the shortened packs by tucson who's had some penalty issues i love the attitude on both these teams they've been having fun all tournament win or lose and uh that is just what you like to see a bunch of splendid derby and some happy faces about it sammy automatic she's through the gate lead jammer tucson and uh, that's hitney fears now out uh, eligible to score for Angel City. Only one blocker out there for Sammy Automatic, but she runs into the back of her. Oh, Pinky McLovin with the takeout. That's going to get called the major back block. Oh, man. And uh, she sent her down hard. She's going to earn the trip. Ghetto Fabulez back with the star, taking on Lindsay Loblo, the marquee matchup. Gotta love it. That is a 3-2 pack for Tucson. Uh, Shiv and Silent D out there for Angel City. Ghetto Fabulez once again taking, trying to take the outside, then through on the inside. She is stifled by Tucson's stingy defense, and Lindsay Loblo through Lee Jammer, Tucson. And just the extraordinary recovery there by Tucson. I thought Fabulous was gone, and they able to pick her off, send her to the box. Lindsay Loblo on one skate. Wow. 
that's <laughs> amazing. Hop in the apex there. Again, no no, uh, no letting up here, even though they're down uh, many points. Tucson still showing some athleticism, showing some, showing some gate derby. And Lindsey Lobo, again, showing us the future of roller derby yeah. in the Tucson area. Boy, you should get six points for getting a grand slam <laughs> that pretty. Just six. <laughs> That's I can't a, count higher than that. A so. Grand Slam plus. <laughs> yeah. Here she comes, taking on disaster, able to hang on. And that's another five. Probably should have been six also. <laughs> Mina in possession, heading the box for uh, Tucson, just as Pinky McLovin hops back on the track. Uh, four, three, pack advantage for Angel City. Tucson's got to go to their own. And they got a free ride through. Another grand slam. Going to end this one with an exclamation point. Tucson carries on on the back of Lindsay Loblo with another groovy jam coming around. Ghetto Fabulous through. Eligible to score now just as number 101. That's Ima Bubaya sent to the box for Angel City. Lindsay Lobo gets knocked oh. to the infield by Shiv. Oh, man. Shiver me timbers. That girl has been clocking skaters left and right all about it. I can see why they named her captain of Angel City. Yeah, that was a great hit. It was, it was a hit from the outside, and she connected in the middle of the track and knocked Lindsay Lobo all the way to the infield. So we're talking about a hit with an impact of six to seven feet by Shiv. Yeah, and she's going the wrong way with her momentum for that hit, so even more impressive. So on the line for Angel City, that's Tyra Shanks, number 95, up against number 11 for Tucson, Bianca Troll. Tyra Shanks with one to beat. That's Helen Wheels, crafty veteran up front. Tucson bridging, but not long enough. Walks the plank. Tyra Shanks through for lead jammer. Bianca Troll still stuck in the pack behind Shiv and Breakfast, and now she's out eligible to score. Boom, big wow. hit by Cosmonati. Cosmonati crushing her like an Oregon grape there. Wow, that was a bodacious bounce to the infield. Looks like Tyra Shanks content to keep skating. We have just over 30 seconds left in this period, ladies and gentlemen. You are here the, the third day of the Western Regional Playoffs here in Portland, Oregon. It has been a great day so far, Juice. Wow, yeah, indeed. Cosmonati ending this one, trying to put on one more big hit and uh, knocks her off the merry-go-round yet again at the whistle. Tucson says, one more jam, calls the timeout. Good for them. Tucson really wanting to fight to the end. Angel City, uh, insurmountable lead pretty much with uh, 211 points to Tucson's 139. But Tucson, one more shot at it, one more shot at glory in the last jam here at the 2011 Western Region Playoffs, Juice. That's right. They're in the huddle over there saying, hey, it's not about the points. Just let me get out there one more time and smack somebody. And there you go. That's what you're going to see. Uh, Angel City now talking to Billy Motion again. Get out of my dreams and get Lee Jammer is what he's saying to them. Oh, yeah. And uh, if anybody can do it, it is Ghetto Fabulous. Lindsay Loblo, that's what we want to see. Some uh, superstars with the star. And uh, we're going to have some all-out Star Wars on this jam. Juice, look, we've got five on the floor. Open the door. Everyone walk the dinosaur. <laughs> this is roller derby right now, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're at home, on your feet. Even though Angel City has a huge lead, Tucson wanting to fight one more time, putting the best jammers on the line for both of these teams. Yeah, a full squad out there. Great way to end our first bout on the third day of the West Region uh, 2011 WFTDA playoff. The Hollywood Scarlets are singing over there, chanting over there, having a great time over there, really enjoying this last day. Um, the ones that are in the pack apparently taking a break. They're taking a knee. I'm not quite sure why. No, I'm just kidding. They are starting to jam right away. No pack situation. Ghetto Fabulous fighting through a wall of three. Helen Wheels turned around, facing backwards. Lindsay Lobo stuck in the back behind a great wall of red. And after a half of just furious jamming, 
We've seen a lot of defense, but Ghetto Fabulous able to shed some defenders. She is your lead, Gemma. Lindsay Lobo now out eligible to score, but Shiv relentless holding on to her, and Shiv called for an out of play penalty. Ghetto Fabulous calls a jam juice. Yes, that'll do it. Angel City going to get on the board with a win here to start the day. They're excited. What a tremendous bout. I love it. Angel City. Final score, 212, Tucson, 139. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Angel City will now take the nine spot here. Tucson comes away winless in this tournament. Angel City uh, wins when it counts here the last day of the 2011 Western Regional Playoffs, taking their victory lap.